You're going to see how to jailbreak a PSP with a Pandora battery. First of all, turn on your PSP. All native files are explained on my blog elgalardo.com. Now go to photo menu to load chicken. Photo menu. Select memory stick and wait until the TV image is loaded. The crash you are seeing is that chicken was loaded and it's going to reboot the console. Now go to game menu. Select memory stick and find Hellcat's recovery flash. Press X to start it. X. You need to run chicken because it's allowed to run unsigned code. I mean, homebrews like this recovery flasher. A first screen will detect your PSP model. A second screen will show up with multiple choses. The first option lets you select the firmware to use, and the second one is the firmware previously shows. Select the second option, install N33 custom firmware of version selected above. Press X. X. This screen asks whether or not to format your PSP flash. Say yes by choosing the first option and pressing X. The installation process has begun. Okay, some last check-ins before starting to copy the files to the PSP flash. Okay. Here the files are being copied to the PSP flash memory. Because this process lasts quite a few, I'm going to forward the video. Here, I've already forwarded the video. The process is almost ready. Okay, now you have to press any button in order to turn off your console. For instance, you can press X. The LED power will start to blink. It's normal. Do not turn your PSP off or put out your battery. Just wait until the PSP turn off by itself. Okay. Once it has turned off, proceed to turn it on again. Now you have to set the console because the flash was formatted. Okay. Set language. Time sum. Day and time. PSP name. And press X to confirm. Now check out if it has custom firmware 500 and 33 by going to system setting. Now system info. And here you are.